While the Brothers of the Night's Watch at Castle Black discuss the wildling threat, a single horn blast is heard. It is revealed to be Gren and Ed, who have survived the mutiny at Craster's Keep. Alistair Thorne questions why it took them so long to return. Ed and Gren reveal they were held captive by the Black Brothers who betrayed Lord Commander Mormont. They also state that Carl Tanner is the one who is leading them and they are content with staying at the keep, eating Craster's food, and raping his daughter wives. When Jon Snow's expedition to capture or kill all the mutineers at Craster's keep is reluctantly sanctioned by Alice or Thorne, Ed is one of the first to volunteer to go with Jon. Ed fights alongside his fellow Black Brothers during the raid on Craster's keep. After all the deserters are slain, the casualties are taken into account. They initially find that four loyal brothers died fighting the mutineers. However, Ed finds Locke's corpse and brings it back to the keep, pointing out that they lost five, unaware that Locke was actually a spy for Ruse Bolton. He returns to the wall with John and Gren and is greeted by the other brothers of the Night's Watch. He sits in as John argues that they should close up the tunnel. The news of the wildling raid on Mole's town has reached Castle Black. Gren is furious that Black brothers were killed, but Ed argues that everyone was ordered to remain at Castle Black. Sam is devastated by the news because he believes that Gilly and her son are most likely dead. Ed reminds Sam that Gilly and her son survived Craster, the long march back to the wall, and even a white walker, giving Sam hope that Gilly may have survived. John concludes that Mance Raider's assault on Castle Black is imminent. Ed notes that if the wildlings don't kill them all, there is even worse behind them that will finish the job. He asks whichever of the group is still alive at the end to burn the others, as he doesn't want to come back after he is dead. Ed is stationed atop the wall during the Battle of Castle Black. While Yano Slint panics after given command of the wall by Alice or Thorn, Ed and Gren looks at each other in disbelief when Janos rambles that they are gangs of thieves, compared to the city watch of King's Landing. When John decides to bring more men down to repel the wildlings in the castle, he leaves Ed in command of the wall's defenses. With a sizable amount of wildlings still trying to climb the wall, due to their failed attempt to open the gate, Ed orders the men to drop the side. A huge section of ice suddenly falls away from the wall revealing a massive scythe-like blade attached to a chain that swings along the wall, cleaving through the wildlings attempting to climb its face. Ed notices the wildling forces are beginning to withdraw into the haunted forest, proclaiming to the rest of the defenders that they have stopped them for now, but that the wildlings still outnumber the Black Brothers 1000 to 1 and that Mance was simply testing their defenses. As Jon Snow leaves Castle Black, Ed is atop the wall watching as he walks away. After the arrival of Stannis Baratheon and his forces, Ed is present when the Fallen Brothers are burned in Castle Black's courtyard. 